How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 9 in my QBasic tutorial series. And in this video we're going to be going over remarks. What is a remark? Well, you might as well just consider it another way to comment. So I did a video a while ago on commenting in QBasic using apostrophes. It's pretty much the exact same thing, so I guess you really have a choice which one you'd rather use. I just wanted to show you that way if you're, you know, reading some QBasic code online, you understand what it means. So let's launch QB64. And let's create a file and save it as remark bas and click OK. Now, how do we do a remark? In capital letters, we type out R E M. Then what follows that is going to be part of our remark. So let's create a remark that says print out hello world. And now let's do just do a print statement that actually prints out hello world. Alright. Alright, now let's run this. Actually, I'm going to save it first, then run it. Okay. And there you go, prints out hello world. So, the remark, just like the comment, whenever the QBasic compiler sees this, it ignores everything that follows. So we can put a comment to, uh, you know, explain what we're doing next, why we're doing something. Makes our code a little bit more readable, helps with error checking. If you have someone looking at your code, it will help them follow what you're doing. Now, I showed you in the other video um, with the apostrophe that you could put it after a print statement. So let's just try that to see what happens. Oops, spelled world wrong. Okay. And there we go. It works the exact same. So, doesn't matter if you use the apostrophe or a rem, it'll work the exact same way. I just wanted to show you both methods. That way, if you're reading QBasic code online, you understand that there's no difference. It's just the person's personal preference when it comes to commenting. So that's all I got for you guys this time. Remember, leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.